In order for it to classify it as rum, you have to start with sugar cane in one way or another. So here we um, ferment raw brown sugar, freshly pressed cane juice, and some molasses. This is our fermenter. So once we have all the ingredients in, we're gonna to top it out with some warm water, and then we're gonna introduce a really expensive yeast. So basically what happened, the yeast is gonna eat up all the sugar and produces um, CO2 and alcohol. So at the end of the fermentation, the alcohol content is going to be about 10% by volume alcohol. Once this is ready, we're going to transfer it into the copper pot and start distillation. So once we're, we've completed fermentation, our ferment will be now 10% alcohol. At that point, we'll then transfer it into our copper still. Once it's in there, alcohol boils at a lower temperature than water, so the calculated boiling point for 10% alcohol is going to be just below 200 degrees. Once we achieve that temperature, the 10% alcohol in the ferment is going to vaporize and rise up. And this is actually where we get the term spirit from. As it rises, it's going to enter the reflux or rectification column. Essentially, each of these copper trays is a separate theoretical distillation. So what's gonna happen is the vapors are gonna rise up, they're gonna collect and liquefy and flood the tray to about this level. Then it'll reboil, vaporize, rise up, enter the next. And it's gonna get more pure and more potent as we go up. We can control the cooling water flow to the precondenser so we can essentially regulate our flow rate. If you run it too fast, you'll lose strength and quality. Too slow, you'll be here all day and night. So from there, the vapors will then get transferred to the main condenser. The main condenser is being fed cooling water as well, which is gonna cool the vapors down and transform them back to a liquid state. Then the liquid is going to overflow into our spirit safe. We have instrumentation in here that will tell us the strength of the liquor, and we'll consistently collect rum at around 94%. And now we we'll start the bottling process. Essentially, the vacuum pump will pull the liquor from the tank into the bottle right here. We do everything by hand. Now we have the finished product, beautiful Tartuga Gold Rum. Now let's get tasting.